What's up, Riser92 here with another episode of our Pokemon Blue Let's Play. You want to hear a funny story? Uh, I've already recorded this video. All this, everything you can see down here is the video that I already recorded, but guess what? My voice didn't capture, so this is a voiceover, and that's super awkward. Um, oh, I'm so embarrassed. 25 minutes I was talking to myself for no reason, and we get to do it again. That's 50 whole minutes of me talking to myself for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and do a recap on the team. We got Monarch, who's at level 22, Nose Confusion, Supersonic, Sleep Powder, and Poison Powder. She learned Supersonic at level 21. And it took me a lot longer to say it the first time. <laughs> oh man, this is embarrassing. Uh, Diva's at level 23. She's a powerhouse with attack, defense, and speed, all right at around 50. She knows Scratch. She learned Body Slam at level 23, Double Kick, and Poison Sting. Elvis is Elvis looking dope and fresh. He knows Growl, Pound, Water Gun, Thunder Wave. He did try to learn Double Slap, but I misclicked because I'm the hashtag misclick kid, uh, so he did not learn Double Slap. And Charmander's Charmander. I don't really know what you want me to say about Charmander. At this point, I'm going to feel pretty laid back in this video. And uh, it's going to be what it's going to be. So, we're going to go take on Misty. And I have a pretty good feeling. Not that uh, I've done this already or seen this in the past. But I have a pretty good feeling that we're going to make it this time. Don't know why we just looked... At our badges, I think we were looking at our money to see if we had enough money to go get potions. But, uh, it was really not necessary, because as you're going to see, we're not going to use them. So we're going to buy some potions, we're going to buy four. We're going to consider buying some other stuff, like um, an Awakening, which I should have bought and did not. I don't know what's going on. The game's freaking out. This is my life right now. And it's getting even harder to try to feed and water my C+. Plus, I tell you what. But we're going to buy those potions. We're going to consider buying Pokeballs. But then I'm like, eh, we're not using Pokeballs. What's the point in buying Pokeballs? You know, it's really just a waste of our time. We're going to skip over that Awakening that would have come in super handy. In the near future. But whatever. And we're going to bounce. And now we're going to go take on Misty. And it's going to be great. Um... While we're headed towards Misty, I'm going to use this opportunity to uh, plug my video from yesterday. If you didn't see it, uh, we started a new LP. It's an Omega Ruby. Not an Omega. Why do I keep wanting to say Omega? It's a regular Ruby randomizer Nuzlocke. Uh, it's a Choose My Starter episode, and I'm super excited about it. Um, we have subtitled it The Call to Groudon, and the reason we are doing that is because... Uh, we are looking to raise money. Uh, I, I have an, uh, an acquaintance. Uh, her name is Veronica. Now Victoria. Veronica. And she is trying to raise money for her dad's chemotherapy. He has stage 3 cancer that is verging on stage 4. Um, and clearly Veronica's father means a lot to her. Um, and they initially were trying to, Veronica was initially trying to raise $1,200 for his chemotherapy, and she met that goal, and that's great. That's super fantastic, and I'm, we're super happy about that. Like, nothing bad to say about that. Thank you to the community for contributing that. You guys are amazing. That's why I wanted to be a part of YouTube and this community is because you guys really are the best community there is. Uh, that being said, that only covers one month of his chemotherapy. And chemotherapy, I don't know his exact situation, but that can range anywhere to 6 to 12 months, depending. 12 months might be a little extreme. But regardless, we're talking about a lot more money. Um, so if you would, just go and check out that video. Uh, there's a link to the GoFundMe in the description. There's going to be a link in the description of this video too. 
Um, and if you would, if you could donate, that's great. That's amazing. Uh, Veronica and her family will super appreciate it. I will appreciate it because, you know, that's the community I know and love. If you can't, that's fine. And we a oh, thousand percent understand that. Um, if you could just like and share the video, that way anyone who can and wants to donate ha sees the video and has the opportunity to, that they are aware of the GoFundMe and that we can get some of those funds raised so we can make sure that that chemotherapy... P.S. We're take we're destroying Misty. I don't know if you've noticed that, uh, but we're just getting her obliterated. Uh, but yeah. There will be a link to the, to the video, the Ruby Randomizer Nuzlocke, choose my starter, in the link in the description below. There's also going to be a direct description to the GoFundMe, because as much as I want you to watch my videos, as much as I would like it if you liked and subscribed, um, it's really not about me. So if you would prefer just to go donate to the GoFundMe and don't even want to watch my video, there's an opportunity to do that. So Monarch's looking like he's going to faint right here. Um, but, uh, Starbeam's going to hurt itself. And we're going to knock it out. Because we are champs. And that's really all I have to say about that. We are champs. We are the champions of life. And that's that. Monarch is dead. He's down for the count. Uh, so there's a fan theory. I don't know if anyone watching this has played Pokemon um, X and Y, but the villain, this team in that, has that same stance that Misty has with the arm across the stomach and over the head. And there are people that are saying that Misty is a secret member of Team Flare. And I don't think that was originally the case. Like, I don't think they had Team Flare already planned out back in these days, the early days of Pokemon Blue. Um... That was Team 11. It's for Bubble Beam. We're never going to use it. I said pretty much the same thing in the first recording <laughs> that didn't capture my voice. But, um... Like, I don't think originally they planned for Misty to be a member of Team Flare, but, like, I think that's great back cannon. We're like, add it. Why not? She grows up. Ash blows her off. She gets super upset about it. And, like, joins Team Flare. Wants to see a beautiful world. Uh, we are going to deposit Monarch. We are done with Monarch unfortunately. Um, in hindsight, I wish I would have kept him for just a couple more battles, but uh, Monarch, the glorious king of our team, uh, he has been an MVP. He's done a lot of good stuff for this team. Um, unfortunately, he just too quickly is going to get outclassed, and he's a flying type, which means he's going to be a detriment in the next gym. So it's one of those, there's no point in us even training him up. Uh, this man's house got robbed. I should go back in there and check it out. Their house got robbed. They stole a TM for Dig. They busted a hole through his wall. Team Rocket sucks. They're miserable. He's right. They're miserable rockets. They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. That cost me a bundle, it did. It did? Why? It's so weird he says it did at the end. They're trying to dig their way into no good, ha! Huh. Back again with the puns. Ugh, that was such a good pun the first time around. Uh, but we're gonna fight this nice Team Rocket individual who is shady. And not in the penguin sort of way, but in the... You should get out of these people's yards sort of way. Which is fine. Not everybody could be a shady penguin. Or a shady person. Uh, he's gonna send out Machop, and this is why I kinda wish we would've kept Monarch for one more battle. But, it's okay. We're just gonna Body Slam. A couple of times. And get it wrecked. Speaking of Shady Penguin... He just... Just got a... T saw a tweet from him that said, Any good movies dropping soon? Uh, yeah bro. Endgame. Hello. Are you gonna go see it? You should. Let's go see it together. I'll go with you. So this drowsy's gonna give us a little bit of trouble, unfortunately. Not super happy about it. He's gonna put us to sleep, I think. 
Which I wish he wouldn't, because it's not nice. But we're gonna get him defeated here pretty quickly. So we got to do a little unexpected spring cleaning today, which was dope. Um, and we... Oh, it was nice. We cleaned, I cleaned out the bathroom, got that all taken care of. I'm gonna do some yard work here in a little bit. But it's just nice to spring clean, you know? To it's like, new, new me. Here I am. I'm all fresh, I've got my life together because I cleaned the bathroom. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. So we're still asleep. Like I said, he put us to sleep. And we are going to get throttled. We're not going to get throttled. He's not even going to hurt us realistically. But... Disregard that strange noise that I have no idea where it came from. We're going to defeat Team Rocket again. Well, this guy. He's not really the entirety of Team Rocket. But he's going to give us the team for Dig. Um, which we'd go give back. But they won't take it. So, we're just going to keep it. We're not going to use it right now. We are definitely going to use it in the future. But we're probably not going to use most TMs until, like, super late in the game. Which I'm super stoked to go see. Probably not going to be able to see it this week, which is fine. Uh, but I really do want to go see it. I'm super excited about it. It's going to be a good series. I did watch a spoiler review. And I know someone's freaking out right now watching this. Like, what? Why would you watch a spoiler review before you watch the video? Or the movie? Well, because I can't go see the movie right now. Um... And I wanted to know how the story ended. And I've waited, and I've been patient. I deserve to know. So I'm not going to spoil it for you. But, now I know how it ends. Because I wanted to know how it ends. And that's fine. Uh, so we defeated a Pidgey because Pidgeys are garbage. And we are rocking down here. This is the Pokemon Breeder. Or not the Breeder, the Daycare Center. You can leave a Pokemon with him. He'll level up your Pokemon. It's like one step equals one experience point. Um, but there's no breeder in this game, so there's seriously no point in using it. Just train your Pokemon. Don't be a schmuck. She wants to train me a Nidoran female for a Nidoran male, but I already have a Nidoran female. Why would I trade you? That doesn't make any sense. Hello, Pepper. Hello. What are you doing, little doggo? Penny came to say hi. Say hello. 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 Yes, you need them head scratches. Right now, we're currently looking for an item on Underground Path. There's supposed to be an item down here. Uh, but I think you need the item finder to find it because we didn't find it anywhere. We looked everywhere. Like, we checked everywhere. I'm just rapidly tapping A right now. And we find nothing. And it's unfortunate because I think there's some good stuff down here. But we'll come back and check it in the next, whenever we get the item finder, if we ever get it. Um, so now you just gotta watch me walk down here one more time, I promise. But that'll be it. Just the once more. And this lady is going to be super funny. People often lose things in the underground path. Well, we didn't find any, so bug off. Uh, that lady, what a schmuck. Uh, so we're skipping all these trainers because we don't have anyone to level up right now. And we want to save them. This is a Meowth. He is the best of the unremarkable Pokemon. He knows moves like Slash and Payday, which is his signature move. He is a high speed, so he crits a lot, which is dope if you're into that sort of thing. We're gonna battle these two garbage trainers. Ugh. And the worst part about them is I gotta sit through this fight twice. Like, you guys, you guys are lucky. You only have to watch this once. I had to watch it twice. Or have to watch it twice. It's my punishment for using the wrong headset, I guess. Oh no, that makes me wonder if the other video has sound. I'll have to check. I bet you it didn't pick up my voice at all. 
Oh no. Luckily that is a relatively short video, so if I have to remake re-record that one, that's fine. That's the uh the, the Ruby randomizer video that you guys saw yes yesterday, or that I uploaded yesterday. Um So Depending you guys might have seen the original, or you might have seen the uncut and you'll or the redo, and you'll never know. Because I'm not gonna tell you in that video when I re-record it. But like I'm gonna be super frustrated if I have to re-record it. Why did I use the wrong headset? Why am I the way that I am? This trainer uses three Pidgeys, and I just want you to know how badly I hate her for it. Like, all three Pidgeys, just straight garbage. But that's okay. Blaze Wings putting it putting in the finest of work and is getting rid of her. And that's that'll be that. That will be that. Uh, if you made it this far into the video, go ahead and give yourself a like. You deserve it. Um, I didn't mean by any means to uh, not capture my voice, so that's fine. This is where we are. This is us now. And if you've made it this far, you you're you're the champ. You're the real MVP. So we're gonna use a potion on most of the members of the squad. Get them all healed up. And ready to go for this next garbage fight. And we're gonna take on this guy here. Ah, uh, the worst part about this is his. I can't even speed through this and make this like a half episode or something. Uh. This is, this is how how much I enjoy this work. But luckily I'm using the right headset now, so after this we'll be able to get on to the next episode. Get that taken care of. Uh, so she's gonna do whatever she does, the Spiro. Which apparently is Wreck Blazewing. I forget what I was talking about at this point in the game. Um, but... I did not fully realize in the moment how much damage the Spiro was doing to us. She's devastating us. But Blazewing beat her. And he's not going to grow a level there, which is fine. She's going to send out Eradicate. We're going to trounce Eradicate, if there was ever any doubt in your mind. Oh, but this is the second of two really beefy Eradicates that we've had to fight so far out of three. I think there's three in total. One in Mount Moon, this one, and then one other one. Uh, luckily, we do get the burn off. Otherwise, I think this Raticate would just wreck house with us. The burn's going to do some damage, which is dope. We're going to do some more. He's going to hit us with a tackle. I think, I think we actually finished him off right here. Well, regardless, he is down. Blazewing's gonna grow to level 21. And Riser defeated him. This junior trainer. Charmander's still not gonna evolve, because uh, we're mean. And we want him to learn um, Flamethrower as soon as possible. Otherwise, he will not learn it until super late. So we're going to heal up our pokes, our pokedokes, and then we're going to, we're in Vermilion now, as you can tell by the color scheme, it's a very pretty city. Um, it's a coastal city. We're going to run a few errands together, you and me. The, you, the, the illustrious viewer and me, the commentator at this point, because I've already screen captured it, so I'm not even playing right now, I'm just w kicking back and watching. Uh, but we're going to go talk to this gentleman. This gentleman is going to say some silly stuff and give us an old rod. And we're never going to use that rod. I'll tell you 100% right now. 
we will never use it because the old rod is garbage. And I hate it. So much. Um, I don't remember what he's saying. It's not important, to be honest. But we will skedaddle from him. We're gonna run down here. I'm gonna remember that we need to catch a Spiro. Yep, that's what I walked back. I'm just trying to get in the building. Why is it so hard? And we're gonna talk to the chairman of the Pokemon fan club and check out how creepy this dude is. I, the chairman of the Pokemon fan club, I've collected over 100 Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. So, did you come visit to hear about my Pokemon? Good. Then listen up. My favorite, Rapidash. It cute. Lovely smart. Plus, amazing. You think so? Oh, yes. It's stunning. Kindly. Love it. Hug it when sleeping. Sorry, I'm having a stroke. Warm and cuddly. Spectacular. Ravishing. Oops. Look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. And we receive our bike voucher. Exchange that for a bicycle. Don't worry about me. My fear will fly me anywhere I need to go. So I don't need a bike. I hope you like cycling. And that dude is creepy. Like... Definitely, I emphasized it with the voice. I'm not trying to deny that. But, the dude was creepy. Like, think about it. He was super creepy. He didn't even have a, you know, he didn't even use proper syntax or words. He used the wrong words. Remember how I said we were never going to use a fishing rod? Well, I kind of lied. We're going to try it to see if we can catch anything dope right here. Because there isn't someone, there is someone in this water that I want to add to the team. But, I think we need the good rod to catch it. And, as it turns out, we do. Because all you can catch with this rod is Magikarp. So we're just going to run away from this guy, because Magikarp is garbage. Look, don't get me wrong, he's worth it in the long run. He Gyarados is amazing. But, Magikarp is garbage and we're not going to use him. So we're going to try one more time, because I'm a glutton for punishment. Oh, PewDiePie just dropped a new video. If you are watching this, have you checked out the PewDiePie video? You should. Subscribe to PewDiePie. Gotta beat out T-Series and keep them in second place. Ah. But we're gonna run away from these Magikarp, these garbage fish. And then we are gonna go and catch ourselves a Spearow. We're gonna run from this drowsy. Who I think is gonna do put a beating on us. Do we try to fight it? No. Oh, that's right. We fight this guy. He puts the beating on us. Um, I do. While we're fighting this guy, want to take the time to say, um, if you have enjoyed this video at all, probably not as much as my other videos. Maybe more. Who knows? Um, make sure to like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below, let me know what you think, let me know how I can improve and get better, because uh, I definitely want to be the best content creator I, I can be on this platform. Uh, definitely not the best, like, saying I want to be the best is kind of arrogant, like, I would like to be the best, but I know that's not necessarily within my power, I just want to be better. So if you have any suggestions, definitely leave a comment down below and let me know. Like the video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content. I promise they're not all just voiceover work. Normally we're talking more organically as I go. I'm saying funnier stuff as the thought arises instead of trying to remember what I said 25 minutes ago. Um, but we're going to catch the Spiro. And that'll be that. Uh, but yeah, so if you like the video, comment, subscribe, do what you gotta do. Um, we're gonna catch this Spiro, and then we're gonna go trade, and then we'll wrap the video up for today. We've got a bunch of other stuff I need to do. I need to do a couple more recordings today, I might have to redo another one. Um, and then we've got some more yard work to do for the spring cleaning adventure we're on, that I'm super excited about. So this is Spiro, uh, he's gotta flap his tiny wings really hard to fly short distances, or to stay airborne or something. We're going to name him Kenya, and um, I don't want to spoil it, I 
I did in the first video spoiled why I named him Kenya. But I'm not gonna do it this time. Sorry, you missed out. The universe didn't want you to know. Basically, that's foreshadowing for something that's gonna come down the road in this series, not necessarily even in this game, uh, but in the series. So, if you're if you're with us for the long haul, you'll get to see that Kenya nickname pay off. If you're not, then you'll miss out. Also, I don't know what I'm doing here. Why am I tripping? Yeah, go trade go trade that bird. Go get rid of that little sparrow. We're not gonna use that sparrow. It's like I just keep pausing. I'm, I'm sure I was talking about something, but I can't remember what it was. Hi, ah, do you have a Spiro? Want to trade it for a Farfetch? Yes, we do. Oh, I know what I was talking about. I was talking about Pecking Duck, because Pecking Duck is amazing. And if you don't like Pecking Duck, you're wrong. If you've never had Pecking Duck, you're still wrong. Go to your, go to your nearest actual Chinese, authentic Chinese food restaurant and try some Pecking Duck. People who would choose filet mignon over pecking duck are dumb. Try it. And that whole thing came about because Farfetch'd is the duck of the Pokemon universe. He's our pecking Farfetch'd. So yeah, that's why I kept pausing. That's why you should go try pecking duck. See? He's even got a nice little green onion in his mouth. A leek, as it were. It would go great. He's got everything you need to make a nice little, little party, a little, a little scrum diddly just right there for you. So we got Farfetch. We're gonna use Farfetch in the future. It's a grand old time. Now we're gonna go heal up our Pokemon. Maybe. Where do I want to go? I don't know. It's all a mystery. I'm just in it for the ride, guys. Just in it for the ride. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna heal our Pokemon up, and it's gonna go. favorite favorite like little sound bite from the 90s doo, 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 doo. but yeah here you're gonna see me save which is awful because if I hadn't saved I would have actually replayed through it with you guys so that, that moment right there is why we are getting this nice amazing voiceover work but we're gonna save this video or save this game and we're gonna end it and get out of here um, like the video comments on it if you have suggestions share the video if you feel so obliged check out the other video feel free to go to the gofundme for veronica and her family links in the description but thanks for watching and peace